Hello, it's Sandy and welcome to video number two in the series of six videos in the 24 tags of Christmas. Every year I do this and I give away the tags, so comment here and on my blog for double chances to win a tag in the mail. This tag is by Linda and she sent it in for my holiday card inspiration and I'm going to use it for a tag inspiration. She used a pattern paper that's in the shape of a door and the pattern paper I did find and it does have a bunch of different doors on it but I wanted to make my own doors and I used Ellen Hudson's dies. All of her nesting dies cut frames as well as the shapes. So I just sorted through them and picked out which ones that I thought would work for my door size that I chose. So you have to kind of pick through which dies you have and which size you want to do. You could also just cut out some rectangles. On this one, you can see with this close up that I use the inside of the panels on one on the right, and then I use the frames on the left. So either one of them works and, uh, and they work both quite nicely. Next was to add a wreath to the door. And I had some, circles in the frame series as well. So they will cut an outline frame and they also would cut just regular circles. So I needed to figure out which ones to use. So I sized them to my door to figure out the biggest size and then tried to figure out how wide I wanted the inside to be. Did I want the wreath to be just a really thin line or did I want it to be fancy and fat? And if you have fancy dies that have actual wreaths with leaves, you could use that. But I don't have that. So I used what I do have, which is plain circles. And I think they worked really well anyway. I ended up putting them onto the doors with some dimensional adhesive. And I tried turning some of them upside down and some of them right side up. So the horizontal panel that I did on each one sometimes is at the top and sometimes is at the bottom. I found some silver paper in my stash and I really love that. I'll, I'll link to some that I found that I think is the kind. I lost the packaging, so I have no brand name for this, but there is one that I know works well and doesn't shed. So I punched circles for the doorknobs and panels to go behind the doors. And then I added some stickles for berries onto the wreaths. Very, really simple to do. So leave comments here and on the blog to qualify to win one of these tags, and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video.